Hey guys, welcome back to Kemquist TV. Now, get, now that jump is done very close, let, now let's focus our attention on jump chemistry revision class. So, for now to the end of T, when I want to write your exam, we'll do what we'll be doing what revision class of chemistry and physics, including what mathematics. So, we have a set of questions here in, in organic chemistry. These are questions that are in the world past questions. So, we have from one to what to seven. So, I would actually break down. I would actually want to break it down for you to understand that along the point of me uh, uh, teaching this thing or explaining this talk, uh, these questions here, you get what no more things when it comes to what organic what chemistry. So make sure you stick to the end of this video because questions like this you may likely see them in the exam or your posthumous examination. Just um, so now let's get into it here. So let's go the first one. Is that the alkyl group can be represented by the general formula? So look at some here. Now, when you talk about alkyl group, alkyl group are, are mainly used as a substituent. You understand? They are mainly, they are mainly used as a substituent, like the methyl, the ethyl, the propyl, the butyl, the decyl. You understand? And they are being derived from the alkenes. So, therefore, what is the general molecular formula for, for the alkenes? So, the general molecular formula of the alkenes is what? CNH2N plus 2. This is called general what molecular formula of the, of the alkene. Idea and the alkyl group are a bit derived from the alkane, you get by removing what one hydrogen. Now, if you look at this one here, this, this CN, N here means what number support carbon atom, then 2N plus 2 means what number support of the hydrogen or atom in the water molecule. So, alkyl you get alkyl when you remove one hydrogen atom from the what from the I when you remove one hydrogen atom from the alkane. Okay. So if 2n plus 2 is the number of one hydrogen atom in alkane, then if you want to get alkyl, you can remove one hydrogen. So I'm going to subtract one from this two here. So 2 minus 1 is not going to be what 1. So it's going to be CNH2n plus 1. Okay. Plus what? 1. So the general molecular formula of the, of the alkyl is what? CNH2n plus what? 1. Because you will remove one hydrogen atom from the arcane family. So now let's take a good example here. Sorry. Uh, let's take a for example here. We have CH4, right? CH4 is a is what is methane, right? Now for you to get the archive, remove one hydrogen from this four here. You got to be what CH3. Do you understand? This one is what is what is an archive. This one is what is what methane. So that this one is what arcane. So for you to get the alkyl, you remove more hydrogen atom from the course for the word arcane. So the general molecular formula of the alkyl is what C and H2 N plus one. So now let's look at the option. So the option is what is C. Just so the general molecular formula of the of, of the alkyl form is what C and H2 N plus one. Please, you can see this down. It should not take you two seconds if you want to know the answer. Do you understand? So let's look at the, what, the next question here. For question two here. How many hydrogen atoms does a single ring cycloalkane have less than the corresponding open chain arcane? So we have a call arcane, arcane, and here we have a cyclo what? Cyclo what? Okay, please pay close attention here. Very important here. Now, now arcane is what is. C and H two N plus two. Now, why cycloalkane is what C and H two N? Do you understand? Now we are going to take we are, now we have to take a typical example here. You understand? We have to take what typical example so you understand. Now, if for example, you have uh, butane. Butane. How many carbon atoms do you have in butane? Is what is four, right? So that's my N is equals to what four. Do you understand? Now in this course, what for? Now let's say cyclobutane. Cyclo what butane? I then my n is also equal to what for? Now let's cut it very well. Now if I should impute, if I should impute this thing here, I would have what C for H two four plus two. Do you understand? So it'll be C for H two times four is what eight plus two ten. Just this is that. That is the 
My molecular formula for butane is what? C4H10. Can you see that? Now, for cyclobutane, if you should plug for here, yeah, you're going to do what? C, C4H. Two times four is what? Is eight. Do you understand? So, you say that cycloalkanes is two hydrogen less than what the, the, than the corresponding what alkanes. You understand? Cycloalkanes are always what two hydrogen less than what corresponding alkanes. Because if you check here, here was C4H10, but here was C4H8. Or uh, 10 minus 2 is what? 10 minus 8 is what is 2. So cycloalkanes are always two hydrogen less than that, that, that are corresponding what alkanes. Now, if you should draw the structure, you understand. Okay, now let me just draw the structure for you. Yes, yeah, so, so, so I get it. Now, if you talk about butane, butane is like this. One, two, three, four. I get Now, it have what? Uh, it have what? Ten hydrogen atom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and what? And ten. Do you understand? Now let's draw cyclobutane. Cyclo means that they are in a ring, right there. The four carbon, because this is called open. Why cyclobutane means what they are in a ring. So if you should draw the ring, do what to happen here. You have one, two, three, four. Do you understand? I'm adding you here. Now this one we have two hydrogen. One, two. I get they will have two hydrogen. One, two. This is how many are two hydrogen. One, two. Do you have one, two? Do you understand? So if you check it there, we have what C four H ten. Why we have what C four H what eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you understand? Remember, carbon want to add the octet electron, right? So that is going to be four bonds. So carbon must carbon must what take valence. You get four bonds. So it means that the cyclo the cyclo are always. Two ideas laid out that correspond to what are kings. So let's look at the option here. The option is what is D. Two hydrogen. Do you understand? Two what I do. So I will wipe this place off. So I wipe this place up like this. I wipe this place up. So I can see space to what to answer some questions. I can see space to answer some what questions. So let's have this one. Question three. Which of the following represent an aromatic compound? Now, which of these represent what an aromatic compound? Benzene and benzene derivatives are aromatic what compounds. You get benzene and benzene derivatives are what are aromatic. And um, what about uh what about aromatic in what in organic chemistry? The first that should come to mind is what is benzene. Is what is benzene. So what is general formula for benzene? General formula for basic what C six H what six I get. Now if you should draw the structure of benzene, you have this is called the structure of, of benzene. Do you understand? Now this is called the structure. Now let me draw it in, in full carbon chain. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So you have uh, double bond, double bond, double bond. Each of them have what hydrogen. Each of them what have hydrogen. So any compound you derive from benzene is what is an aromatic compound. If, for example, you if you should you can remove all hydrogen. Do you understand? Because this one is called C six H six. Then six six carbon six hydrogen. Do you understand? So when we talk about aromatic compound here yeah, at your stage, now what's come to your mind is what is benzene. And basically, was C six H six. So this is what is the uh, structure. Now, if you should remove more hydrogen and replace it with other compound, if, for example, now you re remove this one here and you play what O H, it's still what a derivative of what benzene is a, is an aromatic. If you remove this one here and you play what with C H three, it's also what aromatic because it's what is a derivative of what of benzene. Now, what about derivative? Something you get from something, right? Derivative, you derive from something. If you should remove this one here, I play what with CH2, CH3 is what is a benzene, is, is what is a benzene derivative. So it's derived as, as aromatic compounds. Do you understand? 
So, first of all, you have, you have to look, look, look at the ones that is like that have a benzene structure, right? So, if you look at six is H two H, no, it's not what it's not aromatic because this one is what is a king. Do you understand? It's, it's not a it's not a benzene because benzene of six is H six. Now, let's this one. Six is H five O six. Now, this one is not aromatic. This one is not what aromatic. It's not benzene derivative. But this guy is regarded as what as benzene derivative. Do you know the reason why? Normally, benzene is what six is H six, right? If she remove more hydrogen, six is. If she remove more hydrogen, then what six is H what five. You can replace it with, with what O H. So this structure you are seeing here is this one. Is this one here? O H. It's called phenol. It's called what? Phenol. Or hydroxide benzene. So this one I what is what? Is a derivative of, of what benzene. And benzene is what is what aromatic compound. So this one is what is, is aromatic compound. Look at the question here. You see that which of the following represents an aromatic compound is this one here. Just now, this is not the answer. This is not the answer because they are, they are not basic like structure. This is what is the answer. Do you understand? Question four. The ability of carbon to form long chain is referred to as what? The answer is what? Continuation. That is what the answer. So when you see this one, you don't say continuation, go your way. You don't have to waste any time. When you see this one in the, in the exam, it's called continuation. The ability of carbon to form long chain is referred to what? Continuation first. So let me put the next one here. The general molecule, the general formula of allo arcane where S represents the Li is now every compound, every functional will derive their their name from the corresponding arcanes. So let me wipe wipe this place off first. Wipe this place off first. So look at something here. Now, for you to be able to derive any other functional root, every other functional root are derived from the word corresponding arcane. Remember, arcane C and H2N plus 2. I get C and H2N plus 2. So let me write this here. Give that word C and H2N plus 2, right? This, this is what I can see in H2N plus 2. Now, for you to get any other uh, functional rule, because we have so many functional rules, we have called the carboxylic acid functional rule. They call carboxylic acid what functional rule here. We have the OH functional rule, right? We have what the A lights, too. We have what the cyanides. Just now, we have so many of them. We have so many, many of them. So, anything that for you to get those. Functional here. Now, for you to be able to add this to, to this one here, you have to remove one hydrogen. So now, when you remove one hydrogen, remember, two n plus two is what numbers of what hydrogen. Do you understand? Two n plus two is what numbers of what hydrogen. So when you remove one hydrogen, that is going to remove. You going to be two n plus one. So going to be two n plus two. The C n plus two n plus one. Idea. Right now, then you cannot replace it with what any what any of the words any of the words functional group here. You can replace it with what, with what OH. I then you can replace it with what, with what C and just and you can replace it with what X. Now this X is the word is the A light. Just and, and this is what I'm talking about is that the general formula of allo allo arcanes where S represents the A light. I then so now for it to what Place a light here because it's arcane. Remove all hydrogen. That got two n plus one. You replace one with x, which is what the a light. So this is what the general formula is. Do you understand? This is what the general formula is. So the answer is what the answer is what is c. The answer is c. In case you see some like this in your exam, do it state Just take this into fast. So the next question is what question was six. Question six. All saturated hydrocarbon usually undergoes one a addition reaction b neutralization reaction e c condensation reaction d decomposition reaction leave your answer at the comment section which of this is called before answering which of this is correct 
is it addition reaction is it neutralization reaction is it uh condensation reaction is it what decomposition reaction which of which of do you think is the answer now if you have checked my last my last video when it comes to reactions of the organic compound what about the reaction of, of, of the akin right there akin is are what unsaturated and the typical reaction that we have is called addition or reaction just like if i'm not checking that video please go ahead go check out that video it's very very important because we are going to see question in the exam in that aspect so all 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 unsaturated hydrocarbon undergo what addition what reaction the answer is what is a addition what reaction that is what is the answer addition reaction so what about the typical reaction in which unsaturated undergo is called it's called what addition what reaction so you're going to kill yourself right question seven when the following represents ethyl, ethyl ethanoids, ethyl what? Ethanoids. So let me break this down for you. The last question in this video here. Now, what about ethanoids? Ethanoids is called is esters. I get So you have esters. I will see what I will. I get So here is the what? Ethanoids. Here is what is alkanoid, and here is what is what is the eta is what is the alkali. It's okay. So this is the format of what esters, esters, esters. I get esters are built here from the alkene. When you remove the e, you play what O A T because uh what alkene is okay. So when you remove the e, and you play what O A T. I get call alkanoids you get so now this is structure of what of the alkanoids esters i get so this part here is not what uh, alkanoids why this one now now as the what as the alkali you get so if, if you talk about if you talk about uh ethyl ethanoids now to get ethanoids that is it means what two carbon atom which is c c can you see that? Because you are talking about ethanoids here. Yeah. So when you have two, it's called ethanoids. Do you understand? Because they talk about ethanoid. Now, why this alkali is what is the is ethyl? So it's going to be CH2, CH3. Can you see that? So let me place hydrogen here. Now, this is the structure of what? Ethyl ethanoids. So that is why, as as, as a chemistry student, you must be you familiar with what? Naming. Of organic compounds you get name of part of the organic compound you must know it very well because i want to see it in your exam so this is the structure if you should do the condensed structure going to be ch3 c right ch3 c you have o ch2 ch3 so this is what is the structure ita ita ethanoid so let's see the one that is correct now Remember this one here can also be written about CH3 CO2 CH2 CH3. Do you know? Now because because here we have this carbon have what two oxygen. So, so, so it can be O2. So let's see the one that is correct. I think this one this one is correct. Uh this one is correct one. This one is the correct one because this one have to kick about one, two, three, right? So this one is not correct. This one, this one is not correct. It, it does not equate this one here. So let's add this one here. This one is the correct one. B is what is it? Correct option. B is what is the correct option. So we can ignore the other one. So since we have got our answer, B is what is the correct option here. Which one is what is the other one here? So B is what is the correct option. So this is what is some questions you should likely see in your jam examination. You know, when it comes to what organic chemistry. So we are still on, on our revision. Class. If this video is helpful, please leave at the comment section that this video is helpful. I want to hear from you. Please, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and like this video. It's very important. We are trying to get to 4,000 subscribers as soon as possible. We to get to 4,000 subscribers. We need to hit 5,000 subscribers. So, my year is to work. Make sure I do it possible to make you pass your exam very well. More of this video is coming your way. You understand? More, before you write your exam, more of these kind of videos come your way to help you pass your exam fairly. Thanks for watching. See you next video.